So in the previous segment, we have seen the structure of the malpighian body, which includes Bowman's capsule and glomerulus. Now what we are trying to see here is the filtration membrane through which the actual filtration takes place. So there are three layers actually. There is a layer of odocytes, then there is basement membrane and capillary. So if we draw it separately and in a slightly different manner, then that would become the filtration membrane. Now this filtration membrane, as we said, is made up of three layers. So again, we are using the same green for showing the basement membrane. So this is our basement membrane here. This is the green one which we have drawn here and we are using the same thing here to show the basement membrane. Now on the lower side of the basement membrane are podocytes. So let us draw these podocytes here with those projections and let us also show the slits, the pore slits. That means this membrane also has these perforations. And on the upper side of the basement membrane is the capillary network, that is glomerulus. The capillaries are such that suppose this is the capillary uh, endothelium. Uh, capillaries are lined only with one simple squamous epithelium that is known as the endothelium. So this is capillary endothelium that we are talking of. And in between these capillary endothelia are also present openings. These depressions or openings are known as fenestry. That means there are perforations here also. Then there's a basement membrane and podocytes. So let us label this as podocyte. This is the layer made up of podocyte. That means this is the visceral layer that we are talking of. These are the capillary networks and this is the slit pore. So filtration takes place through the capillary layer then there is basement membrane and then there is the visceral layer which is made up of the podocytes. These three together form the filtration membrane. So the plasma which gets filtered comes into the capillaries. From the capillaries and through this openings, this is the endothelial layer. Through basement membrane and through this slit pore, it comes into this lumen or the cavity of the Bowman's capsule. So this is the filtration membrane and as filtration is taking place through multiple layers and pressure is also more. There is a wider pipe which is putting blood into these capillaries. Capillaries have narrower lumen. They are very very thin. So from a bigger pipe to a narrower pipe pressure anyways increases plus the incoming blood is more and the outgoing is less because of the narrow efferent arterial. So there is a high pressure filtration which is going to take place plus through this layer. So this is the filtration membrane. Now let us come to the next part of the nephron that is proximal convoluted tubule. So after this from the neck of the Bowman's capsule starts PCT. It is a coiled part and we will use a different color so that we see the connection and the different types of the cells. So from here would start PCT. So this is going to be proximal convoluted tubule. And we have already discussed why it is known as PCT. Proximal because it is the first closer part to Bowman's capsule. It is coiled so convoluted and it is the tubular part. This is made up of brush bordered epithelium. Brush bordered epithelium. Brush bordered epithelium means the cells have microvilli. Plus, the cells of PCT, 
this is malpighian body the cells of pct have many many mitochondria so cells have many mitochondria and the reason why mitochondria are more because here active absorption is going to take place and for active absorption atp is required and for that these cells would have more number of mitochondria so let us draw these cells here these cells they have microvilli and that is why the epithelium looks brush border and i'm drawing it slightly coil so that we are able to show all those cells here so this is these are all cells with microvilli on their free side so here also the cells with microvilli and this is the lumen so the lumen of pct is in continuation with the lumen of the bowman's capsule the cavity which is there so the cells here are with microvilli and the function of microvilli is they help in increasing the surface area for absorption so these are all the cells so this is going to continue all throughout pct they have brush bordered epithelium means microvilli so each cell would have if we are talking of this each cell would have these kind of structures or finger like projections which we call the microvilli and microvilli increase the surface area for absorption because from here actively most of the things would be absorbed what are those things which get absorbed in pct 100% glucose 100% amino acids about 70 to 75% sodium ions potassium ions and water also gets absorbed and this is like glucose uh, amino acids sodium potassium this is all actively absorbed and that is why energy is required and this energy is provided by these mitochondria we will write down the percentage of substances which gets absorbed in different regions when we come to the physiology of urine formation so when urine formation takes place then we'll talk about all these parts but pct is mainly associated with active absorption and for active absorption it has two things mitochondria to provide energy and brush bordered epithelium to increase the surface area for absorption glucose 100% amino acids 100% sodium potassium ions about 70 to 75% they get absorbed here this part that is pct it also remains in the cortex region so bowman's capsule or the complete malpighian body pct this part these two parts are in the cortex region pct continues with the next part of the tube that is the loop of henle which is made up of two loops or two arms rather one ascending and the descending loop so we have talked of two parts so far bowman's capsule in detail glomerulus and pct that is proximal convoluted tube one thing which we have to remember is filtration which is going to take place is going to take place through filtration membrane or this membrane that we are talking of this is made up of three layers which has capillaries the gaps between the capillaries which are known as fenestry basement membrane and the visceral layer which is made up of podocytes now the filtrate whatever gets filtered comes here we start calling it nephric filtrate it is no longer or rather it is not called urine yet because it has glucose it has amino acids all those smaller particles which are there in the plasma gets filtered through this membrane so before we start calling it urine all those useful things must get reabsorbed so in pct maximum absorption of glucose or 
rather 100% absorption of glucose, amino acids and most absorption of ions is going to take place. After this, the next part is the loop of Henle. So next segment we'll talk about Henle's loop, both the arms that is descending, ascending and then would come the distal convoluted tube.